just being around with my friends and getting to meet new people and also um, Mr. Green's classroom. <laughs> Uh, I think my favorite high school memory has to be, uh, oh god, I can't think of it right now, but I, the only thing that's coming coming to mind is uh, that one time I did, I did the announcements last year and uh, I messed up the Pledge of Allegiance, so that was pretty memorable and I liked it. And another thing would be getting all these uh, chords. I've worked hard um, with all these um, nine chords and two stoles so, um, and some medals, so I wouldn't, couldn't be prouder. Be happier. I think the way they always came together in a crisis, whether it was the float wasn't working out or a fellow student was struggling in a class, they really stuck together and um, they kind of just embodied that collaborative effort and we're going to help each other regardless of how many late hours it takes. Taking CIF twice. <laughs> yeah! Because right, right. I'm a beast. All right. Um, I wish them all the best and I hope to see them again in 10 years from now. You guys rock, stay strong, make the best out of life and don't do anything wrong because I'll be watching. It feels very... I, I'm, I'm, speechless. I'm speechless right now. I mean, all four years of high school have gone by and next, and next you know, I'm wearing this and receiving my diploma. Well, it's the uh, this is what we do. It takes four years to take and get them to the final phase, and this is the final phase of this chapter here. But we're going to continue to take and nurture and mentor them as they take and they leave us. So this is what it's all about. We're going to close this chapter here, but we're going to open new chapters along the way to take and continue to take and be with them as they go on to the rest of the journey to life. So it's amazing. I just want to say that I wish them the best of luck, and it was a great four years with them. Congratulations, first of all. You guys have come a long way. Many of you started out kind of rough your freshman year, but you've persevered and you've overcome. You learned a lot, you stuck with things, and you learned you're stronger than you ever thought you were. I have no doubt that you're going to continue to do great things in life. It, it's a, a feeling that you will never get again after this. So, yeah. I'll uh, quote Abraham Lincoln. You can't prevent the future, but you can create it. So let's go out there and create the future, guys. You know, it's like a lot of breathing room now, you know? Not hold down by grades anymore. But then you have the looming college coming in to crush you back down. Congratulations, class of 2016. You guys have been awesome. Uh, you worked hard. You deserve this. And I hope you have lots of great times ahead and all the best. God bless and have a great life. Class of 2016, I'm so happy that you all graduated and I wish you the best of luck. Um, I enjoyed having all the talks we did when I had you guys as students in my classroom and the debates and all the fun things that we talked about. And I just wish you all the best and go out there and do something great and make yourselves the best. Uh, well, knowing that we're the next class of 2017 to graduate, uh, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty awesome though. Let's go 2017! Woo! <laughs> we out this. Hey, girl. That was nice. I shed a few tears, but it was good. It felt good. How does it feel? It feels good. Woo! Yeah, I had to be related. To that. <laughs> You're gonna miss them like away so much. Please do that. Every each and every one of them. I'm gonna miss every one of them. Oh, Auntie! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss this guy. Oh, I'm auntie onto him. Oh. <laughs> ah, girl! I wanted to give you a hug. Oh, oh it's okay, I mean, interview. Oh, I really am gonna miss him a lot. Cool. Look, we're on video. Oh, Lord, mm. hi there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, all our girls I taking know. care of you. I'm very proud of Christian. I know he's always had the ability to do great things and. Even though uh, it took him a bit, he did it, and this is just one step of success for him, and he's gonna do great things. As far as Destiny goes, I couldn't be any prouder of her. She uh, always excelled in her sports and academics, and you know, both of them are the kind of uh, kids a parent would be proud to have. One that had a fight for what they wanted, and one that just always gave it all they got. So I'm very proud of both of them, congratulations. Yes, my daughter, which is my youngest, graduated. So that's the last of my children to graduate from Palo Verde High School. And I was a 1986 graduate myself. I feel uh, 
really good. Uh, they worked hard, and uh, we're talking it brings up the next group.